Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. And in this video, we're looking at part two of our mark book series where we are developing our own mark book in Excel. In the previous video, we looked at how we could set everything up and make it nice and colorful. And just to help us, we, we put in a few things which we are going to talk about today, which help us with our calculations. But yeah, today we're going to be looking at the calculations and what we can do so that it can automatically work out percentages and work out final marks. And stuff like that. So this is just a recap of what we did last time. As you said, we have our class list, we have our groupings, we have our just general details of the class. And then we broke down our assessments into a total and a percentage for each of them. Some of the assessments might be a long exam. And so you've got multiple sections that you want to keep track of. And then so that's also a different type of situation where the total will obviously be the total of all those marks etc please take note we also had a weighting at the top of each assessment that's going to be important for our final mark calculation if i just move across to the side this is where we can work out the final mark so this, let's get stuck into it so first of all to work out these calculations you do require a little bit of excel so if you're not 100 percent sure you can follow and try copy and mimic what we try to do um, but if you're not too sure we'll have uh, there's a link to a video there that you can go learn about absolute cell referencing and stuff like that so let's have a look at the first one so first of all let's look at this if an assessment is out of 50 i want the average to or the percentage to be over here for that assessment so if they got for example 40 or let me type it in if i type in 40 over there then I want this to be 80%. Now, the first thing what we should have done in the last video is I actually want to center all of these, um, all of these uh, values so that they center. So, yeah, so to work it out, you go equals because we want it to happen dynamically. So, with the moment I type in a value, it must do it, it must calculate it already. So, it's going to equal to that 40, and we are going to divide it by whatever that block is in the top there, if that makes sense. So if I press enter there, you can see it's 80, and then I can go and click on the percentage sign to make it a percent. That's the formula. But unfortunately, that formula won't work when I copy down. It's nice. It works for this one. So if I make it to 33, it actually works out that it's actually 66. That's great. But I can't copy that formula down because I, when I copy it down, the G7 is going to keep moving down, which is what I want. But the G6 is always going to copy down as well. I want it to always, that formula, I want the G7 to move for each formula each group but that g6 must always remain g6 okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lock that particular cell and what that means is i must lock the the actual number is what i actually want to lock i'm not i'm going to copy it across so i don't mind the g change but i want that six to always be the same so i'm going to say and put a dollar sign shift dot or shift four on my keyboard a dollar sign in front of the six now if i do that let's look what happens if i cop if i if i have a whole bunch of values let me put some values in quickly there i just put some random values in i'm going to go here and i'm going to copy that particular block which i had the formula it's equals to that block divided by the total block but there's a dollar in front of the, the number and over here is where I want to paste it. But I don't want to, I don't want it to mess up my lines. I don't want to mess up. It. So when I paste it, I actually just want to paste the formulas. Okay. I should actually change the, the formulas and the numbers formatting so that it does the percentage as well. So I'm actually going to do that. So there we go. It doesn't mess up with my lines, but there you'll see 21. Yes, that's 42 though. So those percentages are working correctly. And what's also nice about that is that I can actually come over here and I can paste those formulas and format in there as well on each of these. So if I type in here and I go, so this is out of 45. So if I say 40, that is what 40 out of 45 is. If I type in 23, which will be just over 50%, just over 50%. So that's actually working. So if we copy that formula now, you'll see it's changed to R7 divided by it's automatically it knows ex exactly which cells to refer to when i copy it but when i copy it down it doesn't change the uh, the six it stays it's the six if you look over here it stayed r6 so let's copy it again and then in these blocks and i'm going to press control so that i can select multiple blocks and now i'll press control for that one as well because that's probably going to be needed i can now just go and paste the formula and the formatting 
Okay, now this one says divide by zero because we don't have values there yet, but you get the idea. So that's going to create the formulas that I need for the totals. So that's the one step down. Um, if you've got a situation where you've got an assessment like this, then what I do, you'll notice I don't have a total. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically put in that total. I'm going to say the sum of these four blocks and I drag over them. So the sum of 06 to R6 to work out what the total is. So this assessment is out of 70. And so therefore, this will also be the sum of all the marks the students got for each section. So you can actually copy that formula as well. And when we come over here, we're just going to paste the formula just like it is. There we go. So if a student got, for example, over here, they got 9 for that section, they got 10 for that, they got 20 for that, and they got 10 for that. They would have gotten 49 out of 70, which works out to 70%. So there we go. It's working it out for you automatically. The reason why I do these formulas is because I can now later on with future years, I can change what the assessment is out of. I can change what the values are and it will automatically change and adapt it for what I need. And if I have an exam, maybe we're going to make it out of 80. We're going to make that out of 25 and that a bit more as well to make it out of 80. You can just edit those values and everything will automatically work for you. So let's recap that quickly. So over here at the percentages, I said equals to the block where we put in the student's value divided by the block where the total is. And then I put a dollar in front of the six so that it locks it. And then I, once I've done that, I can make it a percentage by clicking there. And then I would copy it. And then wherever I need those percentages done, if I've got everything laid out exactly the same, I can simply not copy, but I can paste using the, if I just practice it by copy, then I can paste using the number, the f formatting and the formula. So it doesn't change the, the borders and all that because I want to keep the borders and stuff like that. So that's what I would do. Okay, great. Now, the next step is how do we work out this total mark? Now, we want this to be a total mark. Now, each assessment has a weighting. Now, the first thing I actually do is to make sure that I don't make a mistake. I need to make sure that this weighting is out of a hundred. All of these values or the weighting, this is 25% of the assessment. That all those weightings should equal to a hundred percent. Okay. So somewhere on your form, I'll do a little check. Okay. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it, let's say I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put a little check over here. You can make it, you can make the text a bit small if you want and stuff like that. If you want to do that, make it nice and small. So it's small. And I'm going to do a formula, which is going to add up all the weighting. So that's going to equal to this block. That's a weighting plus that plus that for all the assessments. I'm just going to add, you see, it's just each block plus whichever other blocks have the weighting values in. Add them all together. Now you'll see that my weighting is out of 90. So that's not great. That means I've got the weightings wrong. The weighting should always equal to a value out of 100. So that I'm going to make that a bit small as well. So there we go. So you can use it as a check. If that's not 100, then obviously your weightings are incorrect. Ah, oh, I thought this one was supposed to be out of 40%. Okay, that's there we go. Now if I do that, now my weightings are correct. That's just a way to make sure that you got your weightings in the correct format. Okay, so let's let's do the formula that works out this total mark, which is 25% of this assessment, 15 of that, and so on. So this is quite complicated, so stick with me. It's going to be quite a bit to work out, so we're going to say equals, okay? So we're going to do something very similar to what we did in the first bit over here. We're going to say equals the block, the mark that they got, divided by the total and we'll put a little dollar over there exactly the same but the only difference now is we are going to include a multiplication of the weighting so that's how it is now i want to make sure that that also doesn't stay down so i must also put a dollar in front of the number there not a void dollar there we go so there we go. So that's the, the way to work out the weighting of that assessment. And you have to do that for each and every one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually, so I'm going to put a bracket around it so that the bod mass doesn't um, get affected. And then I'm going to add the exact same thing, but for this assessment, it's the total divide, no, not the total, sorry. It's the mark the student got, sorry, divided by the total. And that total must get a dollar in front of the number. And then we are going to multiply the weighting and the number must also get a dollar. And we're going to put that in brackets. 
Are you seeing the sequencing? Let's try one more. Plus the mark the student got divided by the total. Put in a dollar in front of the number multiplied by the weighting. Put a dollar in front of the number and put that in brackets. Now you're going to do that for all of the assessments. So I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. So there's my formula. You can see I did it for the other assessments. It's the purple block divided by the green times by that. And then for the, so the exam assessment, it's whatever they got in total divided by the total times by the weighting. So there we go. There, that's the formula to work out. As long as your weightings add up to 100, that should work. Okay, so we're going to press enter. Obviously, it gives us a zero. We're going to do the exact same thing about put in some nice little put it in center and we're going to do the same thing we did over here with the percentage because sometimes your total might not be out of 100 because the percentage and that should be the same but just in case it's not I'm going to say equals to that divided by that and we're going to put a dollar in front of that number over there on the total okay so those are the formulas that we can do and then we can copy this down now before I copy it down this obviously depends on, because we're dealing with percentages, it's going to give you some decimal numbers. So if I got 25, if I got 50% for everything, close to 25, well, 50%. So I'm doing half of all these values. Um, let's say I got 10, or 5, 10, uh, 11, uh, and then there I got, what, 9, there. So you see, I've got 50% across the board, except for that, I've got slightly more. You can see there, it's working out your um, your total. It's, that must be a percentage. But you see that it's working out the decimal values. Now, you've got to decide on how many decimal places you want to display. Sometimes it, the rounding of it will affect it. So you want to actually round it off. Um, if you're going to round it, then what you do is you just take that whole formula that you've got, and in front of the equal to sign, you put round open bracket your whole formula then at the end you're going to put a comma followed by how many decimal places you want to round to in this case i want to round to one decimal place so i'll put a comma one at the end i'll say that again in if you want to round it you can say equals round and a, a bracket in front of your entire calculation that's why I get your, your calculation done first and then at the end you put a comma followed by a number of how many decimal places followed by a bracket. If you want zero decimal places, you want only whole numbers, then make that a zero. And by doing that, my formula is complete. And so I can copy that formula, and then I will just select all these cells and paste the formula and the number formatting. And the same, I will do the same with that block over there. I will then select all these blocks and paste the number and the formatting. Okay. Seems a bit complicated, but you can do it. Just follow again. Remember, we first, what do we do? We took the total of the student divided by the, or the total of the assessment times it by the weighting in brackets. And we did that for that. So let's take a random one over here. You can see there it is applying that student's mark divided by the total uh, times it by the weighting. And so it's working for all the values. You can see that the colors haven't changed. So there we go. It's working. So there we go. That'll be the uh, little checks that you can put in for your assessment so that's your assessments done the calculations are done in our next video we can look at how we can do little summaries at the bottom here that can give us information about uh, what this class is doing overall and stuff like that and with simple distributions things like that so tune in for that video for next time for the next part in this video series go to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button please share this with other teachers so that we can help them as well and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way